Hello Libra. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Welcome to your beginning of August to middle of August reading of this current year. Congratulations, you survived another swelling summer of sweat and misery because, you know, it's hot outside. Ridiculously hot, right? Right. So let's see what's going on with you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, you could deal. If not, do not worry about it. After all, it's just a card game. It doesn't work too fondly if you don't believe in it, you know? So, let's see what's going on with you, my dear Libras. Oh, and I cannot shuffle my cards all of a sudden. That's not cool. Let's see. Oh, you got the Knight of Wands. Leo Sagittarius. Someone's coming in for a fight. Just being like, come on! And, you know, like, and just get over here in the scorpion voice, right? Um, what you want and wish for is not to communicate. Like, you gotta get your back turned, possibly, to this cat. could also be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Just not communicating, not reaching out. Fear or rejection is that someone wasted fucking time. Just looking over this shit like, me. The situation is someone is definitely losing sleep and dreading what's coming in the future with the Nine of Swords reversed. Then we got you, and possibly Gemini or Aquarius, once again, both right here. Someone's snooping for nasty information. It could be this Knight of Wands coming and trying to find some information out on you, or you're doing that to somebody else, or for some reason, I don't know yet. Um, Catalyst as well as what'll end all this situation is not starting anything else. And the beginning theme is taking off after everything has been set on fire. <laughs> like, we went to new, um, scarce lands anyway. It's like someone's coming in looking for a battle. The obstacle that they have is looking for and sifting information that they can use against someone, like an evil spy, looking for reasons to do whatever, but the problem is, is that they wasted a lot of bunch of fucking time. Um, someone's got a lot of anxiety when they go to sleep, but they don't want to communicate about it, and because they don't want to actually communicate, nothing new is going to come in for them with the Ace of Wands reverse. So, take that into consideration, Libra. Alright, Knight of Wands, right? Leo Sag Aries. Someone running into the fight. I like to call him Booty Call Man, but I guess he's Booty Bug Man. <laughs> he rides a flea. He's Booty Bug Man. Alright, so Booty Bug Man is on the move, right? He is, yeah, Page of Swords. So yeah, this is him down here. He's on the move to come after you, and he's wanting you to fight him. He's wanting you to throw words down. He's wanting you to gather information. He's looking for a reason to battle, honestly. Like, look at all mean and aggressive, like, the frickin' Page of Swords actually is. He's actually gritting his teeth, like, err, Like a dog when you grab his ass the wrong way, you know? I can tell that's supposed to be a man or a woman, though. Because usually it's... Well, no, Page of Swords is kind of like a dude, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, like, this person is coming at you. Trying to get you to be aggressive back. And it's like they want to look up information about you. Alright, right, that's you wanting to come in and start a fight in order to get some info going. Now below we have the Nine of Swords reverse in the situation. Which is like, someone's having a hard time sleeping. Someone's having a hard time concentrating. Um, they are unable to come to some sort of choice. It's ripping them apart. It's a storm. So someone's up at night because they can't choose something. The wants and wishes is you probably don't want to communicate, but it's kind of like, that doesn't make any sense. And I think that's what's about, there's a lot of fucking swords for you, Libra. It's like it doesn't make a lot of sense for you not to engage. Like you don't think it makes sense to you not to engage. Like, you don't want to comment, but it's like you're doing so out of not the most logical standpoint, but you're turning your back to explaining it, too. It's like, you know, I'm not going to talk about the situation that bothered me, but don't you think, nope, I'm turning my chair around. 
yeah, but Libra, don't you? La, 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 la. You don't exist anymore. You know, you're kind of doing that. You're just ignoring it. And then when people bring up your ignoring it, you just don't even engage with them about the ignoring. You ignore the person who brings up what you're ignoring. Your obstacle and challenge, though, is that while you're looking for all of these biases or reasons or whatever, whoever's doing that with you, um, they're looking for an excuse to stick to leave. Like, you're trying to find a reason to take off rather than actually having one. Like, you know, bro up here is, like, coming in looking for a battle trying to find genuine information, but down here it's, like... You're looking for information just so you have an excuse to leave. Go out in the far wide open and shit. It's like you're looking for... It's almost like you want someone to break up with you so you don't have to do it. And this person is, like, not doing that. They're coming in being like, when we belong together, and you're just like, ah. You smell like cheese, dude. No. <laughs> like, it's like you're almost hoping this person will like, screw around on you so you can have an excuse to leave them behind. You know, like, that's the beginning theme, literally. You're trying to leave shit behind. But it's like you don't know how to break up with somebody. Okay, the hangman reverse. This is a fear of rejection. There is someone wasting time, trying to be a martyr, looking over all this shit like. <laughs> but as they're wasting time, they're not taking care of the snakes that are in their yard. Could be a Leo, Sag, or Aries. But it's like you're just sitting there looking at the snake like. Hi, I'm gonna name you Todd. You're cool. When it's just like there's a snake in your yard, kill the goddamn snake and it's gonna choke you to death. It's like, this person doesn't get it. This Ace of Wands reverse, what you're not starting to do is to chase after someone of your dreams or go for what'll make you emotionally fulfilled, you know. That's the catalyst and what'll how this stuff will come full circle by the middle of the month, right? It's like you don't want to start anything new to grab somebody I think you've been dreaming of, but it's also kind of like, you know, you're you're kind of a zombie. Too. Kind of. Just a little bit. Like, a little bit devoid of humanity. Or something, like you drained yourself that much. Going after some sort of like options or fulfillment or someone to fill all those cups up for you, and it's just like, blam, I'm gonna eat monkey brains, you know? Like, weird shit. The ending theme someone has a problem with the troll. Someone isn't getting their way, so that's why they're leaving. Oh, that's got words in it. Shit. Oh, you're fine. I was talking. Oh, I know. I was talking to like myself for a second. Yeah. Am I driving you crazy yet? No. What's the last three for you, Libra? Yeah, it's like someone like wasn't able to have control, so now they're leaving. But only after everything has um, been set on fire so they can't go back to it. Like, doing maximum damage since they can't control. That's actually rather terrifying, Libra. Like, I hope that's not you being terrible, but it's like... I mean, I could see it. I could, I could, I could like, my father's a Libra. Like, I could totally see that happening. But I, I'm really hoping you guys aren't doing it. But if you're doing it, you're probably doing it for a pretty good reason, I assume. All three. Yeah, you're trying to release yourself from this bullshit. You're, yeah, you're definitely... Oh, yeah, you guys are definitely trying to, like, release yourself. The only thing is you got captures here and you gotta wait till they leave so the snake can tell you there's a sickle over here in the mask. Or masks. It's like, um... People are trying to keep you trapped, but you're about to get out somehow. 
you already got the ropes loosened from around you. You're just waiting until like these guys are in full attention of themselves to take their eyes off of you, and then BAM! You're out of there. The entire house is on fire, and you're floating away with your balloon hat cap ship. Hmm. You're going to find a way of, um... Joining your candle with the light of the sun like everybody else. Hope, you know? Well, that was your reading, Libra. Thanks for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, all the information's in the description box below, as well as the music I use in my videos. Um, please like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. That's all up to you. Um... Try to take care of yourselves, and if you guys are being, like, little sneak operatives, be very careful. Like, don't tell anyone your plans. That's how you get fucked up. You know, what is it? Two can keep a secret if one of them are dead. Just don't murder anybody, or don't tell anybody. Actually, save the whole murder thing and just don't say a word. Right? Right. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Peace.